Now we're starting off in Nigeria with none other than Tia Savage, who has had her um, tape of her having sexual intercourse been released. Let me tell you. Hmm. I look at Tiwa Savage as such a like mature, such um, a woman that I wouldn't expect to have a tape out there of her having sexual intercourse. So when this first came out, I was just like, not my Tiwa Savage. No, honey, girl, no. But it seems as if she was actually blackmailed by an unknown person who went ahead and got access to this tape of her having sexual intercourse with her boyfriend. And they have been trying to get some money out of her. She went ahead and spoke about the whole entire entire experience letting us know that at first she had really panicked her boyfriend had panicked as well and they even entertained the idea of actually paying this blackmail but after much consideration they decided not to pay a single cent and to even put that news and information out there first to get ahead of it before the blackmailers could go ahead and release the tape so I'm really glad that she was able to talk about it she also went ahead and released a statement where she said you hated how I was able to control the narrative and get ahead of the story before it would consume me and how I'm able to joke on stage about something you thought should destroy me and make me feel ashamed. You must knock my head, then you see me otherwise. I'm really glad that she was able to get ahead of this whole situation. It's highly unfortunate that this happened in the first place. And let me tell you, let this be a rule to all of you. As you're there busy gallivanting with your partners and your husbands and your boyfriends and whoever it is out there, so we just keep the, the cameras down, yeah? You put your phone down, use your memory. You don't have to look back at this situation. Just think back and reminisce from there. You don't have to actually have hard proof because you never know where these videos will go and how it can really come back to haunt you.